Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMRN. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So, all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Another uh, rough day here, especially out of the opening gates, you know, the, the sellers really showed back up and then kind of just drifted downwards a little bit slower this afternoon. But this is uh, has created a, a very interesting pattern. Now, granted, this pattern here is from a, a very short term perspective. So if you're, you know, some sort of investor, then yeah, this really doesn't mean a whole lot to you. But for those people that care more so about trading, then what we had here is what uh, is one of my favorite patterns, the falling wedge. And I get it, the falling wedge sounds like it would be a bearish pattern, uh, but it's actually a bullish pattern, whereas the rising wedge is the, the, the bearish pattern. So we have a falling wedge here, which is making this an interesting uh, setup here going uh, you know, into Tuesday and the remainder of the week. So in the event the price can get the breakout through the, the resistance portion of the pattern, the resistance portion just being this top part right here, so if the price can consolidate here and get a little bit of a breakout, where are some of these key levels of resistance at that the price, uh, you know, would have to fight through in order to, you know, get, you know, create more so a, a bigger kind of bounce for itself? Because right now, yeah, the price is getting, you know, uh, pushed downwards, but you got to think there's some sort of bounce coming, especially since the 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 the, the, the beat down, if you will, has been quite rapid. Um, and with those, and this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have traded for a while, but if you have traded for a while, then I know you've seen stocks that really do get kind of pushed down in a hurry, beat down in a hurry, whatever terminology you want to use. Uh, and then, you know, there can be some pretty big, nice snapback reactions. And now that we have this falling wedge, you know, wouldn't be shocking to see some sort of, you know, reaction back to the upside. So like I said, if that occurs, let's talk some areas of resistance. First key level of resistance with any sort of break back to the upside, gonna be right here at about $14.25. So $14.25 initial level, if the price can push up through there, the next key overall level up there around $14.60. So keep an eye on those levels of resistance. Again, the first resistance is simply just breaking out of the pattern there. Uh, and that sits right around, it's looking like the $14 mark. And then you have those next levels. As far as supports are concerned, uh, pretty straightforward in terms of kind of common sense. I mean, if the price comes down to the lower portion of the pattern and then just continues on down, well, at that point, that's just telling us that the price is putting in new lows. So then by definition, this is not any sort of bottom if the price is putting in new lows. So from that point of view, you know, the, the logic's pretty straightforward. But overall, falling wedge pattern, it'll be interesting to see if this is uh, some sort of leading indicator of at least some kind of bounce to come. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.